Okay, all you Jaguar March, March, or even Mark II aficionados. This is the scuffle vent, as it is called. Um, I'd love to know how many of you can spot the deliberate <clears throat> problem. Took me a while, gotta admit, took me a while to figure out why the hell the scuttle wouldn't fit. These brackets are wrong. That should be down there and that should be up there. And of course that means they need to be reversed. Uh, you may wonder why I give a shit about that scuttle. Um, I am off to uh, a body shop tomorrow because unfortunately the man that I was using to do uh, the body shop, body shop, the body work, um, was ill. And I'm not sure if this car was out of his depth or he just doesn't have it anymore. I really do not know and I don't want to malign the guy so I'm not going to mention his name. Um, and he's a nice guy too. I, I, I liked him but um, having discovered some of the things he did to this car I really do doubt his ability and and I'm sorry about that maybe that's because of his health I really don't know I do not know maybe he's good at American cars and English cars just beat the crap out of him I mean he's done some excellent work on this don't don't get me wrong he's done some excellent work setting up gaps and doing shit but some of the stuff he's done is questionable to say the least uh, and it has cost me close to $9,000 and in the end, uh, unfortunately, I did have to relieve him of my car. Uh, I'm now putting it in the hands of a professional body shop, which I'm sure is going to cost me a fucking arm and a leg, but uh, I need to get this done. This project of mine has been going on since 1988. And I have uh, moved houses, moved countries, moved states, and my baby, Mark II, she has always been with me. She's been with me longer than my marriages, and I am rapidly heading towards my 25th wedding anniversary later this month. Well, you know, you can figure it out, 1988, you know. Um, I hope uh, Santan Hot Rods, who are the people that are now about to take over this project, will do what I hope they will do. They promise me they will um, take the body and blast it. I don't know to what extent whether they would just do the top surface area, whether they'll put it on a rotisserie, I do not know until tomorrow, which is something I will report back to you. Now, I have requested to be able to video the guys that I'm gonna go and see tomorrow and talk to them about working on my Mark II. If they decline to be on video, that's fine. But I will still tell the story but you just will have to look at something else. I don't know, maybe I'll bend over and take a photograph of my bum. Hmm, no, I'd get too many offers if I did that. Uh, maybe I'll get a photograph of some young lady's bum. <laughs> there it goes again. Oh, you, you, you can't fucking believe it, can you? Every time I am doing a video, my fucking phone goes off. And I need to attend to a customer. All right, uh, so that's enough drivel for now. Uh, let's move on, which you won't even notice the gap. I will. 
uh, tomorrow when I get to the body shop and even if the guys won't let me video them I believe I can probably at least view the video sh at the video shop duh the body shop on video and then maybe show you something interesting here we go okay guys girls and I say girls because I believe I now have at least one young lady female subscriber and I really do appreciate that because I love women and that's not a sexist remark I am a hot-blooded male although old I love women and I, I think it's great when a woman gets into working on cars particularly if it's a Jaguar like this one but you know that doesn't happen often so if you are the female subscriber um, love to hear from you uh, whatever it is you're working on gstargarage at gmail.com nothing weird I'm in Arizona I'm married I'm happy you're safe but love to chat to uh, someone that is I can't think of the right words I'll stop okay um, as you can see here uh, I'm sorry guys you're a strap on girls boys guys you're a strap on and whilst my wife thinks that might be fun not for me this is uh, sandblasting material that the previous body guy had um, obviously used and for whatever reason didn't get out you can see this body is in a fucking mess uh, today is Friday September the 3rd I think and uh, my car my baby this baby here Mm, love it goes into the body shop on Tuesday why Tuesday cuz Monday's Labor Day I guess they don't want to get into labor um, so this is where we're moving now look at the scuttle my scuttle fuddle my scuttle okay it's not tight I, I haven't tightened up the, the bolts up because there's no point but I just wanted when it goes to the body shop the guys know that there is this piece that has to be dealt with um, part of the conversation I have had with the body guys is my front subframe I have restored twice uh, the previous um, body shop made a mess of what I'd done and I had to redo it at great expense to me I guess you get what you pay for I'm really sorry because the guy was a nice guy but I guess he couldn't cut it and the, the, the grill is a mess that's all got to be redone that's going to cost me uh, I think he did his best but um, for me it wasn't good enough sorry that's the way it is that's life now we move on the bonnet catch that little beastie there and these hopefully you're seeing this pieces here um, you, you can't see them because uh, well I, and I haven't tightened anything yet and I am reluctant one must admit to actually um, it moves to shut the bonnet because I want to make sure I can open it again and I, I want to be able to make sure this works because uh, I don't want when it gets taken down the road I don't want the bonnet to fly up and fuck everything uh, other things that are wrong that should be a slot not a fucking great hole this should not be a lip like that it should be a flat flange and the grill fits there these are things that uh, <coughs> unfortunately I'm gonna have to pay for 
here there should be <clears throat> I don't know you want to call them scoops so that when the water runs down here it goes through I'm not quite sure where it goes through to in all honesty uh, maybe it just drains down the inside somewhere um, and also up here there should be some holes drilled through there and this is nothing to do with the previous body guy uh, I, I bought these uh, wings uh, from SNG Barrett many 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 years ago and I think I'm correct in saying they cost me two and a half thousand dollars each they are now over five thousand dollars each so it's it's not the previous body guys um, thing uh, but I need to get a hole in there because there's a rubber buffer that goes in there and I'm going to need to find out and if any of you are watching the know the exact um, dimensions of the hole and location of the hole I really would appreciate it I'm sure I can go out onto Saloon Lovers Forum and someone will come up with it um, I drilled these holes which are for the, I don't know what you call them, spears. I think that's the correct word. These little slots here. Yeah, they're for the um, tail tails, as I call them. And I'm sure everybody else does. The little red things. So many vehicles put these in the wrong way round. The short side should face the driver the long side should face the road I don't have one in my hand so I cannot swear to this but I believe the word Lucas is on one of the edges and I honestly don't recall whether it is Lucas facing the driver or Lucas facing the road it doesn't matter the long side faces the road the short side faces the driver because then he can see he's got fucking better eyesight than I have that the side light is on because the angle of the little red tail tail he can see if it's the other way around he cannot see it and therefore he does not know his side lights are on of course he could actually get his fucking ass out of the seat walk round and go oh shit dude the side lights ain't on or he could flick the switch but it was just one of those little idiosyncrasies also here there should be a strip just like this one over there and around not sure how we're going to deal with that well I'm not going to deal with it the body shop is and they'll just give me a fucking bill for it um, same as here this has got a load of filler on it. it it should not have any filler on it it really shouldn't but you know I don't mind the odd bit but let's see uh, these uh, hang on a second these lights at the front the gap there and the gap there is different maybe it's only a quarter of an inch not sure whatever it's not right that has to be sorted out this shouldn't be a fucking great big hole like that it should just be a little slot unfortunately what's been done is uh, subpar I'm sorry and if, if you are the guy that did this and you're watching it I do apologize but come on it ain't right and it cost me a lot of money now what else we got here oh these two little beasties these are uh, the rubber uh, seal retainers for the front doors they were riveted on for some reason they're not anymore so I've got to put them back on and I will do that uh, that's tomorrow's little task uh, I push my Corvette out of the way I'll get this baby out there unfortunately in the sunshine and I will re-rivet these because this car is now going to go to the body shop they're going to put it on a rotisserie they are going to blast the shit out of it I honestly don't think there is pardon me much 
um, rust to deal with. I have asked them to remove the front subframe because that was messed up previously. I won't go into it. And I've had to rebuild it twice now. So I've told them, whatever you fucking do, that comes out. I'll take it home. I don't care. So that's what's going to happen there. The front subframe will come out. They said, uh, or asked, is there a place at the front where they can attach a um, rotisserie? Which, on this baby, yeah, not a problem. I said, don't worry about the rear axle. You can just take it out, drop it out. Doesn't matter. Nothing's been done on the rear axle yet. I'll do that later. Now, let me just take you off my head. In here, you will see... I've got the bumpers and I have in here can you see that that baby is made of unobtainium that is an original 1960s Jaguar Mark II front grille from the factory yes boys that baby is worth roughly $1,600 and I've already told the body shop. Yeah, you can tell me, okay, I'm sorry, Gary, we fucked it up, $1,600. That's not the point. This is unobtainable. Yes, unobtainium. Okay. I believe they are aware of that. Now, whilst they are a hot rod shop, they deal mainly in American cars. I understand that the guy that is going to work on this vehicle has in the past worked on Jaguar Mark II's, which pleases me no end. Whilst he may not know a great deal like I do, I'm sure he knows something. So that's going to be useful. I've given them my phone number. I have given them hopefully they weren't offended, a list of this is what it is, this is how it should look. Let me give you an example of that. This should have been filled in, but it wasn't. So that's one example of something that is not correct. Now, uh, what else we got here? This, this has been reshaped, as it should, to match the other side. Not quite sure why the rear door has this and the fronts don't, but I'm not going to argue with it. But I want to make sure that's done in metal, not filler, because that will be an embarrassment. Um, I have also spoken to them and asked them, what do you need? Do you need dust bumpers? Das window frames. What do you need, guys? Whatever you need, I'll bring it to you. The bumpers I really don't think are probably needed because I think the body's pretty much good there. Uh, what else have we got? The window frames, yeah, because when the frame is in, it can sometimes scuff. And, you know, the frames may need to be um, modified. The door gaps are pretty fucking good, I must admit that. You know, the previous guy did what I consider a pretty darn good job. I mean, you look at that, that's, that's pretty fucking good. I don't think you can argue with that. And also the arches here. Unfortunately, there is work he... At, and, you know, he didn't get to finish it, so, you know, I can't criticise him for it. I don't know if you can see that, but in here is a real mess. That's... <laughs> That's got to be sorted out. That's okay. No big deal. So, uh, that's where we are. That's where we're going with my baby. Uh, I did clean all this back to bare metal, unfortunately, because of where it was. You can now see surface rust everywhere. Again, what a shame. Uh, give me a second. Now... Uh, here, <coughs> getting back to the hood mechanism, 
underneath this bolt, you know, down there, there are spacers. <sighs> Unfortunately, one of them was lost, so I've had to make one. This is where I'm hoping the new body shop will pay attention and not lose shit. Because a lot of the stuff I've got here, and you can see them there, I put stainless steel bolts in everywhere. Why? Well, because that's how it's going to be. And I'm hoping when they take these off, which they will, you know, you can see they were powder coated and they were previously prepared, but they've ended up messy. So I'm going to have to do it all again. Uh, the shield over there, no, I, I, I put that back on two days ago. I said, fuck it, I'm not going to put stainless steel bolts in. I'm just going to let the guys deal with it. And then I'll put the stainless steel bolts in when I actually finish everything. Now this down here, whilst it's still a little grubby, is a rebuilt front subframe. Seeing that, there is a little uh, quirk here that I need to deal with, because that should not be at that angle. We'll deal with that. Uh, and it needs a bit of a clean now, but that's all it needs. Uh, do make sure when you're doing these um, rear mounts, put them that way round. <laughs> I didn't. And when I didn't, the front ones didn't line up and I couldn't understand why. Took me a while to fix it. Oh, and uh, you really don't want this kind of shit. That's, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, I really don't, I, I, I pass no further comment. Uh, oh, one other thing, see this little baby here, the number, that has to be left viewable because otherwise you won't be able to register it. Uh, this was all bright metal but uh, because of where it uh, was being worked on it's uh, ended up as uh, rust and the nice new rubber bumpers are now got paint all over them the nice uh, bonnet catch that was restored has now fucked so I've got to do that again, but there you go. I hate to use the expression, you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. Uh, it wasn't peanuts. It cost me a lot of money, and unfortunately, the guy, I, I don't know, I, I guess it was past his experience. Uh, it, maybe it was something he could have done in the past, and... It ended up costing me a lot of money. He was a really nice guy. I really like him, but uh, it just didn't work out. Which is a great fucking shame. And I really do feel sad about it. <clears throat> Which is why in the end I had to uh, take it away and get a body shop to do it. <clears throat> I just think it was probably too much for him. Which is a shame, as I said. Nice guy. Really was. Really is. But ill health and other shit <clears throat> screwed with him. But there you go. You live and learn, don't you? All right. As I said, he did some fucking brilliant work. I mean, door gaps and shit like that. And He, he put a lot of effort into this. I cannot say he didn't. He did. He put a lot of fucking effort into this. But... Uh, it was just taking too fucking long. Simple as that. I have to get it to move. I have been working on this car since 1988 when I got it. I have moved um, houses, changed wives, uh, changed countries, <laughs> moved states, and gone from 
I've got the money, I don't have the time. I've got the time, I don't have the money. At the moment, it seems to be coming together. At the moment, I have the time. And it would appear that the money is coming. And the only reason I say that is because, thanks to my parents, they bought a house in England, which we are now selling. And it will give me some money to be able to finish the restoration of this vehicle and I uh, I can thank them but they're not any here anymore unfortunately but this car which some of you may or may not know depends on how many of my videos you've watched my father was a policeman and he used to chase people in these cars back in the 60s, <clears throat> known as the Flying Squad or the Sweeney. And this is a Jaguar Mark II, for those of you that haven't realized that. And the criminals got them, and then the police had to get them. And that's how it kind of started for me. Um, as a 10-year-old child, I was taken to a Christmas party in one of these, and they allowed me to sit in the front and play with the radio but it got in my blood, the leather, the wood. At the time, we drove around in an Austin A35 van. So this was real fucking luxury, no two ways about it. And I guess it got into my blood somehow and I didn't even realize it. And it it's, has great sentimental value. The great train robbers love these cars. Um, and my father was one of the officers that arrested some of the great train robbers so it has a special meaning for me and that may mean shit to you but it appeals to me which is why I am going to spend lots of money getting this fixed and I will use this car it is not going to be a fucking trailer queen these cars are meant to be driven hope you enjoyed this video Please do the usual, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up your bum, and get out in that garage and do some shit.